Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Class. Myself Manuja Naik and this is my first video on AutoCAD basic tutorials. In this video we will learn about AutoCAD user interface. So let's see what is AutoCAD user interface is. Here I have opened my AutoCAD software and I am using 2016 version. When you open your AutoCAD software, first thing you can see here is this start page. On this start page here you can see is start drawing. If you simply click on this start drawing, you will see a new sheet is open where you can draw your drawing. Otherwise, there is a drop down here. If you click on this drop down, there are several templates here. You can draw your drawing using any specific templates available here. Then there are more options like open file. If you click on open file, your previous files will be open here. You can, if you want to open any of your previous file, it will be shown here. You can open it from here. Then open a sheet set. Same thing, if you have done any sheet set previously, it will be shown here. Now I have not done any sheet set, so it's not showing you anything. Then there are more options like get more templates online, explore sample drawings, etc. Now coming here, recent documents. These things which are showing here are the recent documents open in this AutoCAD software. Whichever documents or whichever drawing files you have opened previously will be shown here. Also, here they are showing you last open date and time. Means the last time you have opened this file and edited it, they will show that date and time here. And sign in to your Gmail account. Benefit of signing in to your Gmail account is whenever there are any updates related to your software in Autodesk, Autodesk will show it here. You can directly get access to any of the updates available in Autodesk. Then here there is send feedback. You, if you have any queries or any suggestions or any problem, you can send your feedback to Autodesk. You will get your answers from Autodesk. Now let's open our drawing sheet here by clicking on this start drawing. When you click on start drawing, you will get a new drawing sheet here. Now this whole thing you can see here is called AutoCAD working interface. And this black window which you can see here is called your working area or drawing area. And this faded lines you see you can see on this black window, this horizontal and vertical lines, this is grid lines. These are called grid lines. You can simply turn it off or turn it on by clicking on this icon. Now go to the top. Here they have shown this AutoCAD logo. If you click on this, you will get many options here. This is called your application menu. You can open a new drawing from this, open your files, save, save a file, save as, export, publish or you can even print your file here. Now next to it in this horizontal line, this is called quick access toolbar. Here also they have shown this icon like new drawing, open file, save, print, etc. If you want to customize this bar, here there is a drop down. Click on this drop down and you will see these options here. New open save as plot. Whichever Whichever item you want to see here, you can tick on this. This tick mark means it is visible on this toolbar. If you don't want to make it visible, you can click on this and it will hide. Now next you can see is this ribbon bar with different icons. This whole thing is called ribbon bar. In this ribbon bar, there are different tabs like home tab, insert tab, annotate, parametric, view, manage etc. Under this tab there are different panels. Under in home tab there are different panels like draw panel, modify, annotation, layers, block, properties. Then under insert tab there are blocks, 
block definition, reference, etc. This panel contains all the commands which are required to draw your drawing. If you see here, there are under this draw panel, there are line, polyline, circle, arc, rectangle, circle, hedge. If you click on this drop down, you'll see many more commands here. Same here, under modify, you can see this icon plus this click on the drop down and you'll see these icons. Now, in this annotate, if you see, there is a small arrow icon shown here. If you click on this, a window will appear here on your screen. This is called dialog box launcher. This is used to modify the style of these commands. Below this is file tab. This tab will show you all the files you have opened in your software. You can easily switch to your different files from this panel. All the files which are open here will be shown in this panel, in this tab. Then here is the option of view control. If you click on this 2D wireframe, you'll see this 2D wireframe, conceptual, hidden, realistic, etc. This 2D wireframe is used for 2D drawings and rest of the things is used for 3D modeling purpose. Then here is view control. You can see the top, bottom, left view, right view, front view, back view of any of the model you have mm, created here. This is also used in 3D modeling. Now this is the option of viewport viewport configuration list if you want to create multiple views of a single working space you can choose from here now see i click on these two vertical and i'll get these two views of this same sheet now to get back you click here and click on this single you'll get the single sheet at, as it was previous this cube is called view cube. You can you can change your view from this cube from top this is northwest south whichever you want. I'll choose this top right now. Now here you can see this icon that is called UCS icon. You can find out origin point of your plan from this icon. Also, this shows you the x-axis and the y-axis of the plane. Whenever you enter any of the command, it will be shown here. Also, it will give you instruction whenever you enter any command. It will give you instruction how to use that command. Now, here is a horizontal bar. This is called status bar. You can see many of the items here like ortho, polar tracking, isometric drafting, then object snap tracking, object snap etc. You can customize this bar by clicking on these three lines. When you click on these three lines, here the many items will be shown here. Whichever items you want to see in this bar, you can click on that, it will be visible on this bar. Then if you want any information about any of the command or tool, you can click on this symbol, this drop down next to this symbol in help. This is an online feature, but it will give you all the information that you require or that you want to know about any of the tool or any of the command. The most important thing you should know in your AutoCAD user interface is your workspace. Which workspace you are using is very important that you should know. To know that, click on this. If this if this thing is not shown here, click on this icon drop down. This workspace, click on this workspace and this will be shown here. When you click on this drafting and annotation, there is three options given here. Drafting and annotation, 3D basics, 3D modeling. 
if you want to do any 2d drawing if you are doing any 2d drawing you choose drafting and annotation it is meant for 2d drawing you click on this and you will get all the tools and icons or all the commands required for 2d drawings then if you are doing any 3d basic drawing click on 3d basic then it will give you all the item all the commands required for 3d basic drawing if you are doing any 3d advanced modeling project you click on 3d advanced modeling it will give you all the commands or all the items required for your 3d modeling so this is it hope you like this video please like and subscribe our channel to learn more interesting things about civil engineering thank you for watching have a nice day